Thank you for joining us for this targeted oncology expert perspective virtual tumor board focused on metastatic colorectal cancer. Throughout this presentation, my colleagues and I will review strategies for managing four clinical cases based on recent evidence as demonstrated in clinical trials. Hi, I'm Dr. Shubham Pant, an associate professor in the Department of Investigational Cancer Therapeutics and an associate professor in the Department of Gastrointestinal Medical Oncology, Division of Cancer Medicine at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Also joining us in this discussion is Dr. Richard Kim, associate member of the Gastrointestinal Oncology Department, Moffitt Cancer Center, and associate professor of oncology at the South Florida College of Medicine in Tampa, Florida. Dr. Michael Morse, a professor of medicine and professor in the Department of Surgery and a member of the Duke Cancer Institute in Durham, North Carolina. And Dr. Gregory Riedlinger, assistant professor of pathology in the Division of Translational Pathology at Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey, Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, Rutgers University in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Thank you for joining us. Now let's get started with our first case. Our first case will deal with a patient with BRAF mutated metastatic colorectal cancer. Uh, this is the history and physical. A 73-year-old Caucasian male sought medical attention after experiencing bloody diarrhea. The past medical history is remarkable for hypertension, which was managed with Losartan. He is active and can perform daily activities without restriction. Colonoscopy showed a fungating mass in the descending colon, which was biopsied. Now, the pathology findings for this patient were invasive, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. Molecular testing showed KRAS and NRAS wild type, but it was BRAF V600E mutant and was microsatellite stable. The CEA was 6.4. The CT chest, abdomen, and pelvis showed a 9.5 centimeter mass in the descending colon, small bilateral lung nodules, and a three centimeter mass in the right lobe of the liver. Surgical consult for metastatectomy indicated unresectable disease. Now the treatment first line was initiated with fulfiri and bevacizumab. Imaging at three months showed stable disease in the liver and lung nodules. After six months of therapy, the patient complained of increased fatigue, requiring the need for frequent rest, and a CT scan showed increasing size of the liver nodule and appearance of four new small liver lesions. I'm gonna go through some of the data uh, with BRAF mutant metastatic colorectal cancer. The first one was presented by Scott Kopetz, uh, SWOG S1406. The SWOG S1406 trial, which was a randomized trial in patients with BRAF V600E mutant colorectal cancer, and the arms were cetuximab with arinotecan, which is uh, considered standard of care, and this was with or without vemurafenib uh, as, a, uh, as an add-on as the treatment arm. So this was, again, uh, for patients with PS01. Important thing is, in these, uh, patients had received one or two prior systemic therapies for metastatic or locally advanced unresectable disease, and the results uh, were that there was a median progression-free survival benefit of 4.4 months versus two months with a hazard ratio of 0.42, and the p-value was statistically significant at 0 0.0002. The overall response rate was 16% versus 4%, and there was a better disease control rate with 67% disease control rate versus 22%. The other trial, which is a precursor to the uh, new other trial which is going on, this is the Columbus trial, but this was in BRAF mutant melanoma, with a combination of encorafenib and benimetinib, which is also relevant in a colorectal cancer as the next slide, uh, as the next few slides will show us. This was just the progression-free survival of encorafenib plus benimetinib versus vemurafenib in melanoma, and this uh, combination has been approved uh, by the FDA for metastatic melanoma BRAF V600E patients. And this is relevant to our patients with colorectal cancer because this beacon trial is currently ongoing in which we saw the earlier results which were presented in ASCO GI this year. And this is actually a phase three randomized controlled trial. Patients had BRAF V600E positive metastatic colorectal cancer and progression on one to two prior regimens. This is a combination of encorafenib, which is a BRAF inhibitor, benimetinib, which is a MEK inhibitor, and cetuximab, which is an EGFR inhibitor, versus <coughs> irinotec and cetuximab or fulfiri cetuximab. The presentation was on the trial safety lead-in of 30 patients, and even in these patients, they were an overall response rate of 48%, median progression free survival of eight months. Uh, most of the grade three, four AEs were fatigue, UTI, increased AST, and increased blood creatinine phosphokinase, and about 3% of patients had grade three and four rash. Uh, 